Not much is known about him. He's quite an elusive character. We only managed to bag this interview through a poker game. I don't know how that works. It, it just happened. <coughs> Mr. Murphy, your interview is here. This, right here. What do you see here? This, this object. It's a half-empty glass. Keep going with that. Tell well, me. Well, it's a half-empty glass. And naturally, it's not water. Because you just pick up a glass out of nowhere. You think it's water. It's not going to be water. It's half empty, you're drinking half, you look at it, it's half empty now, you're drunk half. What do you think that it's bleach? And you'd be drinking bleach. And then you have a look on the back of the thing of the bleach if you can find it and the labels come off so you don't know what to do about the poison and you try to get rid of it and you drink some more water to try and flush out the bleach and you realize that, that was methyl and that's just not going to help anything at all. And so you start vomiting and because, you know, that might help, but you're not just vomiting to vomit, there's blood in there. And you're vomiting and then there's something chunky in there and it might be uh, like a and then you're being chased down the street by a pack of alligators and you can feel the bubble of air forcing its way through your veins to your brain and you, you know you only have a couple of minutes more to live and that's only if your pulse rate is slow enough the alligators are getting closer all the minutes and cars are spinning everywhere out of control and you got your fist in there right up to the elbow and you're reaching around and you're trying to find it and pull it out but you just can't grab onto it it's just too slippery and huge it's huge then he tells you the last thing you need for the cure is an aborted fetus and where are you gonna find that so you go and you find the aborted fetus and you're trying to Stuff it in the blender, but it's just not working. And there's blood spraying everywhere. It just doesn't mix very well with the Gatorade, you know what I mean? Well, it's a simple precautionary matter, really. If I touch any of it, I might get a paper cut, or maybe maybe it's a letter bomb. What if one of these was full of white powder? <laughs> Whatever's in them, it's got to be bad. Just don't touch them. It's easier that way. Don't touch them. What about bills? How do you get bills? That one's a lot easier. I hire a small Indian boy. He comes every two weeks and he opens my bills for me. I pay him ten cents a month. Ah, uh, but why don't you pay him to open the other letters? Well, have have the death of a small Indian boy on my conscience. Hello? Hello? Is Barry there? Oh, I think you must have the wrong number. I'm sorry. And that's how you use a phone safely. Believe me, it's better than the other alternative. Which is? Did you know that when you're on the phone, electricity can travel through the phone lines from lightning? and electrocute you. There's actual case files on it. Smile. Tomorrow will be worse. If I could turn him into an optimist, imagine the breaking. See, the outside isn't so bad. What do you have two umbrellas? Well, I, I brought one in case the drought stopped and it started raining, and then I brought another in case my umbrella had a hole in it. Right. You, you wouldn't really last in the wilderness then, would you? Why would I in the wilderness? Let me pose it to you this way. You're just taking a stroll through your peaceful neighbourhood park, and not only do you get a football to the groin, but you get a muddy football to the groin. And some overprotective father of four it's the wrong idea so you're there flapping away at your pants trying to get all this mud off your crutch and his children sweet 
supple children. I, I think it's time we open some curtains in here. Sure. If you want to be an open target to snipers. Alright. Let's go. Um, sure you don't want to rub in the sunscreen beforehand? I did. At least the first three layers I did. I put on this one as a backup. Alright. Um. Okay. Uh, have you ever thought about camping? Let me pose it to you this way. You plan to go camping. Naturally, you end up soiling your clothes. So you gotta wash them in the filthy river and hang them up to dry. You pitch your tent for the night. Turns out you didn't actually bring the tent. It's a tiny child's thing that must have fallen off the back of a Kmart truck or something. You wake up in the morning only to find crazy gypsies gone and stolen your clothes to make a rug out of. The car breaks down on the way back, so you've got a hitchhike. And of course, a charitable stranger picks you up. Only to find out that for the ride, he wants, um, a couple of favours. Well, seems you're getting a hang on this right side of life. Thing. Well, you sort of showed me the likelihood of some of my fears actually happening. I mean, hearing them aloud really helps put them into pers perspective, you know? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, well, I think you should take one more step in the right direction. Open up some of them mail and get rid of all that bubble wrap. You know what? I think I might. <laughs>